Mastrop has shown they're very serious about the premium personal audio category, as evidenced perhaps most of all by their many exciting headphone collaborations. They've worked with companies like AKG, Hi-Fi Man, Fostex, Cost, Sennheiser, and others. Now today marks another major collaboration for Mastrop when they announce a new product in partnership with this exciting new headphone. It's called the Mastrop Focal LX. At first blush, you're probably thinking that the LX looks like a Focal Elear with a different colorway, a blacked out colorway, and you'd be part of the way to being correct. There's more to the Mastrop Focal LX than an Elear restyling though, and to get the rest of the answer to the question of just what the LX is, requires us to bring to this discussion this Focal headphone, the Focal Clear. This is a headphone that was just announced a couple of months ago, and which we did an entire episode of HeadFi TV about when the Clear launched. What the Mastrop Focal LX is then is a refined version of the Focal Elear, achieved by incorporating elements of the Focal Clear into the Elear platform, more specifically, the Clear's newly developed ear pads. The LX does not bring the Clear's new drivers into the mix, still though I do feel the adoption of the Clear ear pads constitutes a worthwhile refinement to the Elear, especially for those who are seeking more neutrality and even-handedness across the audio band than the Elear provides. By the way, for those of you not familiar with the Focal Clear's ear pads, they're covered in perforated microfiber. It feels rather like Alcantara to me. And this makes it a sort of hybrid ear pad, perforated like the flagship Focal Utopia's leather ear pads, but made of microfiber like the Elear's. Now, the new ear pads also have other improvements that lead to a more open design. They're products of more careful engineering and tuning than just simply perforating the surface. By the way, the Mastrop Focal LX also has the Clear's perforated microfiber headband versus the non-perforated microfiber on the Elear headband. I like this use of what I imagine is a more breathable design, and it also happens to look nicer, being more similar in appearance to the Focal Utopia's perforated leather headband. While our first inclination to compare the Mastrop Focal LX to other headphones might point us in the direction of its Focal siblings, the Elear, the Clear, and the Utopia, I'm going to instead first look to another headphone by another maker, a headphone that came up in discussions with Mastrop and from which I feel the Focal Elear represents a strong upgrade candidate. I'm talking about the Sennheiser HD650, or in Mastrop livery, the Mastrop Sennheiser HD6XX. From conversations with Mastrop, it seems to me that they felt that the Elear could be sculpted into a better natural step up for the HD650 and HD6 6XX fans than the stock Focal Elear. I think they've done that with the LX. No, the LX doesn't sound exactly like an Ultra HD 650. If you want something that sounds improved and more a direct sibling sound to the HD 650, consider the new Sennheiser HD 660S. While for my taste, the Focal Elear is the better headphone versus the HD 650, the Mastrop Focal LX's tonal balance gives it a more direct spiritual connection to the HD 650 than the Elear does. The LX brings changes that result in greater mid-range presence relative to the Elear. This is one key difference that'll make the transition from the HD 650 to the LX, perhaps a more natural one than the transition from the HD650 to the Elear would. Also, the LX's bass is a bit more tame than the Elear's and probably more in line with what someone who absolutely loves the HD650 might prefer. Again, the LX doesn't sound like a direct descendant of the HD650 the way the new Sennheiser HD660S does, but it'll be a more comfortable transition headphone for HD650 lovers than the Elear would be in my opinion. If you're an HD650 lover and were hoping for more treble presence and detail without getting clinical, then the LX is going to be a treat for you. Looking at the measurements, normalized for a better comparison, you can see the HD650 and LX, as I said earlier, are definitely not exactly alike. But versus the Elear, there's no mistaking that even the measured frequency response traits of the LX will probably make it a more natural progression for HD650 diehards. Looking at the LX versus its Focal siblings, the LX brings some of what I and many others love about the Focal Clear to the Elear platform. In terms of bass presence, the Mastrop Focal LX is very similar to the Focal Clear in terms of magnitude, which is to say that it's a bit more toned down in the bass region versus the Focal Elear, and also more controlled, more nimble, and responsive down low than the Elear to my ears. While I do enjoy the Elear's more emphasized bass, I can't deny that the LX's improved ear pads result in what is clearly a more polished performance down low. The LX's more refined performance versus the Elear also continues through the mid-band where it's smoother, again, more like the Clear than the Elear, a bit fuller and more present there like I mentioned earlier. As I also mentioned earlier, the LX brings improved treble presence to the upper registers versus the Elear, and if you were hoping for more up there versus the Elear, you have it with the LX. Compared to the Focal Clear, there's no question that the LX gets closer to the Clear than the Elear does. This isn't surprising given that the LX and Clear share the same ear pads that are, again, rather substantially different than the Elear's ear pads. 
As for the drivers, if I haven't been clear enough about it yet, the LX uses the exact same driver as the Elyr. This is a 40 millimeter full range dynamic driver with a solid aluminum magnesium M-shaped dome. Not aluminum magnesium coated, but solid aluminum magnesium. This is the same driver we covered here on HeadFi TV when the Elyr and Utopia first launched a couple of years ago. Now off the top of my head, I can't think of an open back electrodynamic headphone by any other company that achieves such flat sub bass extension as the family of flagship Focals. This is in large part due to these fantastically engineered drivers. Again though, the LX doesn't have the Focal Clear's newer improved driver, but still overall it's with the Clear that the LX has the closest sonic familial tie. As I mentioned earlier, the LX and the Clear share very similar bass signatures, which is to say more neutral than the Elyr and a bit more full than the flagship Utopia. In fact, the LX from stem to stern has so much in common with the Clear, and this shows up even in measurements. Here's a frequency response comparison of the Mastrop Focal LX and the Focal Clear. Does the Focal Clear maintain any advantage over the LX? Yes, definitely. Most noticeably, the Focal Clear is smoother and more refined than the LX, perhaps owing to the improved drivers. Also, despite what the measurements show, the Clear's bass sounds a touch more energetic and improved in quality to me. If you have a chance to compare the two as we have here, I don't think you'll have a hard time noticing the differences, and I think there'd be near unanimity as to the Clear's more honed superiority. But I think still, most would say, the LX comes much closer than you'd expect for just over half the price. And that's one of the major talking points here, the price. The Mastrop Focal LX will drop at $799.99. Again, that's just over half the price of the Focal Clear. For $799.99, you get the Mastrop Focal LX headphone, two six-foot cables, one terminated with a quarter-inch plug and one balanced and terminated with a four-pin XLR plug. Both cables are cloth-wrapped with a gorgeous braided sleeve, very similar to the Focal Clear's cables, but in a black and gunmetal colorway. The blacked out LX and these cables give the LX a pretty sinister look, and I love that look. Now like the other Focal flagship headphone models, the LX also comes with a sturdy, rather fancy storage box with a magnetic closure. So do I recommend the Mastrop Focal LX? I think the answer is rather obvious by now, and that answer is unhesitatingly. If you're looking for a flagship class open back headphone for under $1,000, this has to be one of your top considerations now. Mastrop has worked with Focal to bring a more polished, more honed alternative to Focal's own Elyr with the new LX, and I suspect this is going to be a huge drop. Thanks for watching this episode of HeadFi TV. We'll see you next time.